Well, how would you look a home-cooked meal from Tutu? Mm, I would. Well, Highway Inn has a special event coming up. Yes, let's check back in with, da with Chris Latronic, who's in for Dallas. He joins us live from Kakaka with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Kelly and Christine, and good morning, Hawaii. Here at Highway Inn in Kaka'ako, where they're celebrating Tutu Sunday dinner, and there's a special one this weekend. We have three tutus who are going to bring their special recipes into the kitchen and uh, share it with everybody who will be coming. We also have one of the tutus here who's going to show us their special dish here with Lemomi Lum. Good morning. Aloha. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here. So, you got your dish. Yeah. What is your dish, and uh, what are you going to be cooking this, this weekend? Bacalao and ulu salad. Ooh, bacalao. What is bacalao? For all so, bacalao is a dried uh, Portuguese pot. Okay. Um, before, in the old days, there was no refrigeration available, so they would salt and dry it to preserve it. Ah, okay. And we also got a big uh, Polynesian uh, fruit here. What is this? Okay, ulu. Tell me all about ulu, one of the main... So, ulu, I mean, it was something that the Polynesians brought when they first came to Hawaii. It's very versatile. You can use it in many different ways. Um, and then we'll do a quick kind of like peel. When you cook ulu, you have to peel the skin off. And a quick note is when it's like this, when there's black and white and mm. the sap, that means the ulu is ready to be picked. Okay. So, so you peel ready. it all, yeah. And then we cut it, we core it. Fast forward in time. Boil with Hawaiian salt and Hawaiian chili pepper and lots of garlic uh, for some it's, flavor. It's pretty hard, right, at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, it's so. solid. So we're going to put our ulu in here. And then we're going to take our bacalao, Ooh, which... Okay, bac okay, so what do you do to, to the bacalao? So you have to boil it. Bacalao okay. is very salty. Mm -hmm. So you boil it sometimes maybe one or two times, depending upon how salty you want ah, okay. it. And we're going to add our bacalao in here as well. The Hold the tea leaf. And then we're going to add some sauteed onions. This Ooh. is just sweet onion. Sauteed. And then we're going to take some garlic that we have over there. Over to you. We're going to put all this stuff in here. Mm. All good stuff in here, Dad. That's probably good. You smell all of it. Yep. Uh, starting to put all together. this garlic and oil in there because the um, garlic and the onions are sauteed in the fish oil that mm -hmm. you've cooked. After you boil, we backtrack a little bit. You have to fry the cod till it's crispy. Ooh, okay. So that's why it looks like this after. Make sure it's crispy. Yeah, crispy is key. Crispy is key. Crispy is key. Okay. So we're gonna take a little bit of white um, vinegar. Okay, white vinegar. Put a little bit of that, just kind of, little bit, little bit, and then we mix. Mix, mix, mix. Make sure you got gloves on. Unless Make you like sure flavor, you got gloves. Can you smell? Oh. The, oh, yes. Oh, all, all of the onion, together, all the, the garlic. Onions, garlic. And that vinegar. Hawaiian chili it. pepper. Ooh. Oh, yes. Bring that heat. Yes. And the oil. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So, now, what else is next? That is pretty much it. This okay. is a very simple dish to make. This is a dish that uh, my grandmother, who is Portuguese, uh, Helen, she made this at all of our family um, mm. gatherings. So, you know, you could always count on this dish being on my grandma's table every time we went to her house. Um, over the years, we've added ulu mm -hmm. so that families are large. I yes, have a big yes. family. So then we can make sure we have plenty enough for everybody to eat. Awesome. So. And ulu, good substitute for what we usually put, potatoes or? But, so you can use potato or I prefer ulu because I love yes. ulu and I have a tree in my backyard. So I use what I have. There you go. Use what you have. So we're gonna just going to plate it like this real nice. And then you guys okay. can maybe take a sample. Ooh, with a nice bowl of poi. Poi. Always have to have poi with this ulu and bakala. Always. Oh, and it smells and so And then nice. we'll just do a little bit of a garnish. We'll make pretty some nice cherry tomatoes. tomatoes. Or you can sprinkle parsley mm. if you like parsley for some color. And there you go. Ulu and awesome. bakalao salad. Mind if I taste it? Go ahead. Help Let's yourself. go. How, how do you fork do it? Okay, fork. I was about to go full, <laughs> just bare hand into there. Yeah. Right, here we go. Let's get some ulu. You want some plus ulu for point? Oh. You know what? I'll just take the bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. There's an explosion of flavor. And then watch. Gotta yeah, get the poi. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that is grinds. Yeah. Wow. So this recipe was all all your family. It's 
from, it's been passed down to generation to generation. My grandmother used to make it, then she taught my mom. Um, I, then I learned how to make it, and I pass it down to my daughter and my brother. So we keep it in the family. You know, Hawaii is all about the traditions, um, keeping the legacies going, uh, keeping our culture alive. And um, so we gift it to families awesome. a lot of time. And that's what it's all about. Le Momi, thank you so much for this beautiful recipe. And if you want to come down, you can try this yourself. Here this Sunday, Tutu's Kitchen. You can meet Le Momi Lum. She's going to be over here, too. Right here, Highway Inn. You got anything else? Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tutu's dishes are being served. So come check us out. So not just, not just Sunday, two, Tuesdays and Thursdays here at Tutu's Kitchen. So right here, live, Chris Latronic and Le Momi Lum from Highway Inn. Kakako, back to you guys.